good afternoon from sunny Grand Cayman. Today we are by the, the gorgeous sailboat, I mean, to, to make it uh, appropriate enough. We are here in the middle of the ocean. Today I got Patricia with me. Patricia is from Peru, so we thought we would get her out of the kitchen and just uh, present the recipe. So today we have a nice uh, milk-fed rack of, uh, rack of veal, very small. Uh, the, the, the flesh is very, it's fairly wide because that the, the, the veal was uh, just fed with the milk of the cow, was never giving it any grass or any corn of any sort. So that's why the, the meat is very pink and, and very tender. And we serve it on top of a, what we call a potato boulangere. And uh, pa Patricia, do you want to tell us how that was done? <coughs> uh, first we saute the onions and with oil, olive oil or butter. Mm -hmm. Then you add the broth can be chicken stock, beer stock, if you prefer, you can use vegetable stock. Um, then you put uh, the potatoes, slice the potatoes. But you slice the potatoes, but you have to... Yeah, so, so, so when, the, when the potato are cooked, what, what we do, because like Patricia was saying, we, we are not washing up the starch, the potatoes stick a little bit together. and. and and thus you are able to shape it the way the way you want. Okay, the the rack of veal doesn't cook very long. You know, it was just seasoned and uh, uh, cooked in the oven. But that's uh, it's just uh, you know very very small. You probably saw it. I mean, almost like I mean, little bit bigger than a rack of lamb, but it's really just very tender. Then for the sauce, what we did, we used the the, the trimming <coughs> of the veal to do like a veal stock, but obviously at home you, you don't have time or you don't have the resources to make a, a full-blown veal stock. So the best way is just to, to brown to brown the trimming, uh, add a little bit of white wine, and, and, and to cook it with some veg. And then when you strain it, uh, you, you have a, a, a brown sauce, if you will. Uh, and then you add your mustard at the end. It's, it's always good not to boil the mustard because mustard has a tendency of becoming bitter when, when you do that. And then we put a little, uh, little garnish, put some, uh, some verdura, like we said, some, some green, and uh, to, to make it appealing. So wherever you are in, uh, in the world, bon appétit.